You say it's hard to tell just what I'm thinking. You think it's hard to see behind my smile. I'll say whatever you want. Let you walk in on my heart if you want to. You can. What does it take for a person to, to make friends in varsity? Because I know at times it can be very hard, it can be very difficult. Many people may think that you have to be charismatic to, to, to make a lot of friends in varsity. I know that certainly many people are struggling to make friends in varsity. They, ha they think you have to, to, to be going out. I certainly know that it's very, it's very difficult when you, you don't go out a lot, when um, you don't drink, perhaps you don't smoke a lot. To make friends in varsity probably when you don't talk a lot as well and when you are an introvert to make friends in varsity it can be very difficult but compared to last year i've met a lot of people this year i've hung out with a lot of people this year i i have <clears throat> i have friends i can say i have people that i can say friends to a certain level and i want to share with you guys the things that i did differently this year compared to last year that things that certainly helped me to make more friends here's the number one thing that i did Last year, I was living in, in a single room right here in Willows. Um, it was good, the experience was massive. I was living in a, in a single room and the accommodation that I was living in, majority of the people were not students, majority of the people were working class people. They like to call it young professionals. And these sort of people, we have to be honest, we, we, we are not able to relate well with these sort of people because we are still in varsity, they finished varsity. All right, they are working probably on the verge of starting families if they haven't already. So relation levels between myself and those people were, 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 were massive. So what I did, the first thing that I did was when I was looking for accommodation, I went and thought, because I'm not making a lot of friends, I want to meet a lot of people, I want to hang out with a lot of students. I wanted accommodation where it was strictly or majority of it was student accommodation. And I think that's um, the biggest difference that I, 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 I made because when you live with students, you can relate with a lot of students, you can hang out with them a lot because obviously you, you, you relate a lot, especially when you are, you are around Willows and Bloomfontein, majority are CUT students. So you have a lot to relate uh, with or about, you have a lot in common with them and certainly you can sit and talk about a lot of things and from there you can find people whom you can relate um, personally with and people whom you, 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 you see eye to eye with because it's obvious that you cannot see eye to eye with everybody it's normal, it's common but when you hang out with a lot of students and you have a lot to talk about from school um, the accommodation itself, you're always there you, you you may even end up playing soccer like like we usually do my friends and I, the boys in, in Sude where I live uh, you may end up even playing football so the first thing that I did was to find an accommodation where it was a strictly student accommodation. The second thing that I did was to stop being critical. Um, the, one of the main reasons why a lot of people don't have friends is that they are too critical. Sorry, critical in, in a sense that they say, um, because I don't do this, I can't hang out with people who do this. Or me and this person, uh, we don't get along because of this or because of that. Look. It's, it's almost impossible for you to find someone who's exactly like you, like someone whom you're going to like everything about. So you have to stop being critical for you to make friends, for you to enjoy some people's company. Because in as much as you may enjoy some people's company, there may be things that those people do that you dislike. And just because they, 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 they have things or they do things that you may dislike does not mean that you cannot hang out with them, does not mean that you can't be friends. Just because... I think, you know, I also have friends who, who do a lot of things that I don't do and I also have friends who do things that I do but it does not mean that because we're friends we have to do everything together or I have to agree with everything that they do. It's okay to be friends with someone who does things that um, you may not agree with. Especially when, because I know, when, when you don't have friends as a student it gets a little lonely and you, you're the one who ends up paying the price. Talk about that I want to talk about... Um, stop being shy and when I, I say stop being shy i don't mean you should um run around naked and jump on everyone's back what i simply mean with that is that you should don't hold yourself back when you're walking around and you see people greet those people um don't be afraid to 
invite yourself to people when um you see people hanging out sitting down having a, a good laugh or a good chat don't be don't be afraid to to go there to go to those people and and hang out with them because you just you just never know you know you just never know so don't be afraid to to go to those people hang out um when you see people for example playing soccer just because you're not invited it does not mean that when you go there and ask to play with them nicely they will reject you so when you see people greet them it's i think that's a good start don't be afraid of having um small chairs with people and don't 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 be too introverted man just um let yourself lose don't be too uptight and it shouldn't be too hard to make friends just enjoy being a student because i don't think it's possible to say that you are you're having a blast of your student life without making friends without meeting new people i think there's more fun and joy in meeting new people than we may make of it so don't hold yourself back talk to people greet people it's very very important you may find that you may find really 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 um good friends to talk about is your classmates have time for your classmates create some time for your for, for your classmates i know some people are shy and sometimes you, you you have to take that first step don't don't, don't be afraid of taking the first step and create time for, for your classmates. Let me make an example. Let's say you, you are walking to class and you see that this is a classmate, you recognize someone. Don't be afraid to just walk up to them and say, hey, let's let's walk to class together. Even if it's, it's a group of maybe two or three people. Don't be afraid of walking to those people and saying, hey, um, can we walk to class together? You may, you may, you know, that's how friendships start, man. That's how friendships start. So Another example may be that um, class just ended and you're walking the same direction with uh, some students. Don't be afraid to walk up to them and say, hey, um, where are you guys going? We're going the same direction. Can we walk together? Do you mind if we walk together? And nine out of ten times, people are going to agree. You Obviously, when you're working together, you're going to have a lot to talk about. And because you can't just walk around and be quiet. Do you know what I mean? So once you, you start working with those people, just talk. Um whatever they're talking about and and then that's how um, a friendship may start because obviously with a classmate you have a lot to talk about your lecturers your fellow classmates your modules um your experiences in varsity so far a lot of things you can talk about a lot of things with with your classmates so just don't be shy and make some make some time for them you may even suggest that you hang out some time after class maybe off campus or in your in your residences or just wherever just so you can create that bond and you may be surprised that a lot of people may not turn you down because a lot of people are actually shy and some people are also maybe finding it hard to make friends and you may just be uh, the angel that they are praying for so don't be afraid of making that first move it's not embarrassing there's nothing to be embarrassed with that. another thing that you may want to do is um, play sports because obviously when you play sports you, you get a chance to meet a lot of people you you obviously sit and talk about a lot of things you may talk about for example in football you may talk about tactics you may talk about uh, a game plan or training so another example that i can say if you really really want to make friends want to meet people i would encourage that you do sports because obviously when you, you can't play sports alone there's no sport that well of course there's no sport that that that, that yeah, um, you can play alone so do sports and i guarantee that you may you may meet a lot of friends a lot of people all right uh, we've come to the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed i hope you learn something and i hope i've articulated the message in a decent manner and i'll see you again in the next video guys take care of yourselves and it has to be soon i have to say so take care of yourselves guys i'll see you again in the next video ciao